Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who calls the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly, or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement, or by a letter allegedly from us, or the effect that the day to the effect on the day that the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. The response will be, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, so in the name of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective able to discern reflections and thoughts of the hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others, blind guides who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside may also be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, in the scripture readings, there are very uh, different passages. We hear Jesus sometimes, he expresses himself in a very strong and uh, vocal words, like the word we hear today, is challenging the Pharisees on their way of life, of their double standards. They say this, and they live in a different way. And I was asking myself that, uh, 
Am I notice the same like the Pharisees in one way or another? Sometimes when I say this, but I do, I do different ways. I say I love Jesus, but at the same time I don't fulfill what Jesus has trusted me. I say that I love my brothers and sisters, but in fact I'm not loving them. Jesus is telling us today, be who you are. Be who you are and entrust in me and fulfill what I have entrusted you. Be a Christian, a Christian who can fulfill what you are supposed to do, leaving your obligations, love one another. If you say you love your brothers and sisters, really you have to ponder in your heart and do it from the heart and do it from your own love and do it with your heart and mind and soul. Jesus today is challenges us, all of us, as he did for the Pharisees, is telling us today, be who you are, take your time, and continue to acknowledge it, that no one is perfect, but as long as we continue to humble ourselves and fulfill what God has entrusted us, even if it's a little thing we do, but if it is for the common good, and if it is because we are loving one another, we are always fulfilling what Jesus entrusted us. Dear friends, today, let us pray for our family members. I know sometimes in our families we have ups and downs, but Jesus is telling us, love one another. Even in our churches, sometimes we see our ups and downs, but Jesus is telling us, love one another. And even in our communities too, what we are supposed to do is to listen to Jesus and he is the source of life and he is the truth. And where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm also with you. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, you have showed us the way that uh, we have to live our faith in actions and deeds, in love and peace. Give us courage always to recognize your presence, and for this we pray. As you challenge the Pharisees, you are challenging us always to understand that when we love one another and continue to live our Christian values, you may continue always to guide us and lead us to the true life and for this we pray. We pray for those who are struggling in their lives so that you may continue to come and ponder in their journey of life and help them to understand that life is a journey and give them strength and healing. And for this we pray. We pray for our country as we are preparing for election. Give us courage always to understand each other, to have a common understanding, a common discussion, but for the well-being for the well-being of this country, and for this we pray. We pray for those who have died, so that God you may receive them for the eternal kingdom, and we ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you are worthy through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are clay. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for this gifts you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Steve and Kevin, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a reminder, when you come up to communion, please have the mask covering your nose and mouth. Cup your hands. We'll deposit the host in the hands. Then step aside, lower your mask, consume the host, raise the mask, and then please return to your seat.
Please rise. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I will raise him up on the last day. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I would like to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching live stream mass also, I say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And Jesus continued to say that he loves us. And he loves us so that we may continue also to fulfill our duties, our services, that is to love one another and to proclaim the good news the good news to everybody, no matter who he or she is. I want to wish you all the best. And every time I hear people say, Father, can you pray for me? So now I'm asking you to pray for me, <laughs> for my safe trip, if possible. And if you'll not see me next Sunday, and they tell you that Father Dan has gone to Africa, pray for me for safe up trip and back safely. Yeah, thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Peter.